You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. Huge football news during the week, especially for the women's game here. New US uh, National Women's Soccer League side, the Utah Royals, smashed the A-League women's transfer record to bring one of the Wellington Phoenix's rising stars to their club. It's going to be Fraser! You wanted to prove to anyone why you are the Wellington Phoenix's biggest ever deal. That is exactly why. That is an extremely good strike from Fraser. No keeper in the world, male or female, is saving that one. Yeah, Macy Fraser making the move to the United States after one season with the Phoenix. The club have accepted a six-figure sum for her services. Macy Fraser starred with three goals and five assists during her first professional season in the A-League Women's Competition, during which she played 19 of Wellington's 22 matches. On the day this news was announced, I had the chance to chat to Macy Fraser, asked her first of all how this all had come about. Um, I got a call from my agent and he just said that Utah were interested in me, so... Went from there and talked to my family, the Phoenix, and, yeah, decided I would go over. So when you get a call from your agent like that, I mean, were you expecting it? Definitely not. (laughs) It was a shock, yeah. Um, But super excited, yeah. So then when when you're told a club like that is interested in you, do you go away and find out a bit more about them yourself? Do you, you know, find out what they're all about? Yeah, definitely. Um... The Utah are in the NWSL, so it was huge news at first, but I wanted to make sure it would be a right fit for me and talk to my agent about it, talk to my family, like I said, and, yeah, we decided it would be... It's too good of an opportunity to pass up, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a big league, right? I mean, how do you feel about making the step up from the A-League women's into the NWSL? Yeah, I'm aware it's going to be a huge leap for me, and... I've only had one professional season under my belt, so I'm going to have to work really hard to even get on the field, and it's going to be competitive just even with my team and in the league with the best players in the world. So I'm just excited that I have that opportunity to go see what I can do, yeah. How do you reflect back on your your first season as a professional with Wellington Phoenix? Um, I look back at it and think, wow, I've grown so much as a player and a person, and that's thanks to everyone here at the Wellington Phoenix, especially Paul for teaching me what he did this season and previously in the academy and, yeah, grateful to them, yeah. When you, can you look back maybe 12 months before you got the pro contract and um, what were your hopes and expectations of your first season? Um, honestly, I just wanted to get on the field. I wasn't even sure if I was going to start. Um, yeah, I just wanted to play as many games as I could and make an impact when I came on. And, yeah, I'm happy to say I did that a couple of times. So, yeah. So um, we've heard from your coach, uh, Paul Temple. Can you just talk a little bit about the influence he's had on your career? Yeah, he's been huge for me. Um, I came into the academy not really knowing what I wanted to do with my football and he really believed in me and as a player when you have confidence it does so much good for you and yeah I loved playing um he got us playing on Wednesday nights against boys in the full girls team and he really took all the girls that were in that academy and believed in them and wanted to take them further on and then took the first team job obviously and really gave us that opportunity so I'm really grateful to him for that. Where do you think the big improvements in your game have come since you became a professional player this became your job? Yeah I think when you become a professional it's really eye-opening to everything off the field as well um finding the balance in my life because this is a job now but um yeah I think I've come far on the field as well just even trying not to get predictable on my right foot. I gotta, it's yeah. like open my eyes, I've got to come up with new moves. Yeah. It's, yeah, um, but yeah, I think I've grown heaps and I've still got a lot to learn. I'm really aware of that. I've 
I'm going to learn so much in Utah as well, so I'm excited for that. Um, how have you found that balance off the field? Because I, I don't know this to be true, but I'd imagine it could be all-consuming being a professional sports person. How do you find the balance in the other parts of your life? Um, yeah, it was tough at first because when you play your first professional season, I think you want to give it everything and it's hard to come back to real life and just staying connected to everything off the field as well. So, yeah, that was hard for me, but I think throughout the season I've got better and better at it and I'm glad about that because it's really important. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I remember hearing you talk about how, you know, you you're not, you didn't drift away from football, but it kind of there was a, a few years a few years ago where I, I guess you weren't too sure what the future might hold for you. Can you just talk about how you sort of regained your, I don't know, your love for the game perhaps? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I didn't get selected for a couple of teams and it really knocked my confidence back a bit, but I just decided, no, I'm going to put my foot down, just grind. Um, yeah, I had... My family have always backed me and I'm really grateful for them for that. I, I don't know if I'd still be playing. Um, my brothers kept me going. Their their love for the game is, came into me as well. Um, but, yeah, just I kept working hard and um, Paul came in and told me he believed in me as well. So that was huge for me and, yeah. Grateful. <laughs> and your family, how are they feeling? I mean, they're obviously going to lose you. You're going to be thousands of miles away, but they must be very excited, are they? Yeah, well, I've lived away from them since I was 17, right. so <laughs> they're just super excited for me and, yeah, wish me the best. Cool. And just finally, obviously, you've um, also this um, year past uh, found your way into the football ferns. Yeah. Uh, big year coming up with the Olympics. Is that something that's on your radar that you'd like to be involved in? Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to keep working hard and try to put my best foot forward for that. And I think Utah will be good for me to learn new things and keep playing um, instead of going into an off-season. So, yeah, um, just controlling the controllables at the minute and working hard, yeah. That is Macy Fraser upon the uh, acceptance of a deal to move to the Utah Royals in the U.S. National Women's Soccer League. It's generally uh, regarded as one of the top two women's leagues in the world alongside the Super League in the UK so uh, yeah quite the step for Macy Fraser to uh, be heading over there and uh, also a a real vote of confidence in her from a new side they were willing to uh, break the A-League women's transfer record Uh, the exact sum hasn't been uh, disclosed but it is uh, well north of uh, six figures as I understand it Uh, so great for the Wellington Phoenix good piece of business for them and uh, an exciting time for Macy Fraser as well. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio.